Why, hello! This is an animated public service announcement for my fellow life enthusiasts. I'm here to help guide you on how to keep your life if the zombie apocalypse were to ever happen unexpectedly. So please, get comfortable, listen carefully, and remember, everything I tell you to do is for your own good. When trying to survive, you must scavenge for food, medicine, and weaponry. Now I'm sure you're all wondering, which one should I go for first? Well, the answer is medicine. You can bargain with anyone who needs it, get weapons from them as payment, then use said weapons and rob them of the medicine you just gave them. In the apocalypse, you have to close your heart to strangers. They could be crazy people. Do not use a car. Cars are just moving bullseyes. If you're in a car, you're both a target for hordes of zombies and people who want to steal it. Instead, use a bike. Bikes increase your cardio and strengthen your legs for running and fighting. Plus, they're easy to hide. Just use some local leafy greens. That'll do the trick. Your method of transportation is now perfectly camouflaged. When you encounter a zombie, don't be scared. Contrary to popular belief, zombies are quite honorable. If you engage in fisticuffs, he will battle you one-on-one. -on -one. I believe you're gonna do great. Just don't aim for below the belt. That is a universal no-no. Lucky for you, zombies don't eat food. Not so lucky for you, they like to the nom nom on your fleshy bits. Which in your case, is all of you. So there should be plenty of canned peaches to go around. But if you're straight out of luck, and straight out of peaches, don't worry. There are plenty of animals. And remember, you are what you eat. So make sure to eat something fast and strong, like a bunny rabbit. And who knows, maybe you'll be able to jump really high after consuming such nutrients. Now there is a simple solution for protection of your property. You just need a few ingredients. Go down to your local home of the pot and grab yourself some chain link fence, some copper wiring, and a few car batteries. Huzzah! You've got yourself a protective barrier. Now you and your family can live peacefully in your personal safe box. Has your friend just been bitten? Yeah. Well, it's time to throw your emotions and memories away. This is survival of the fittest. You're gonna have to kill him now. Wait, what? He's, he's, he's been my best friend since kindergarten. Billy, Jerry is infected. In the end, he will just try to eat you. Okay, wait, 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 it was just my hand that was bit. Can't we just like cut it off and replace it with a chainsaw or something? Yeah, l like in the movies. Yeah, yeah, exactly like the movies. Nobody asked for your opinion, Jerry. You're about as useful as a white crayon. Kill him, Billy. I can't. Do it, or I'll use the power of narration. Do it, man. I have to. This is taking too long, and you're throwing off the flow of the video. Now that it's done, check your friend's pockets for any valuables, and take any article of clothing that you may have been jealous of for years. <laughs> he does have a red beanie. That's the spirit. Take it. He won't need it anymore. He's going to meet the Lord now. Jerry was an atheist. Oh. Well, then he's going to be a part of the grass. When you know someone is going to turn, always tie their shoelaces together. Zombies are only dangerous when they can walk. And if they are dads who only ever wear sandals with socks all the time, then duct tape them. That will immobilize the zombie and protect people from any future attacks. Congratulations! You have just now learned the basics of how to survive the zombie apocalypse. I'm sure I left a few things out, but I believe in learning through experience. Stay safe, kiddos. And remember, you are all beautiful human beings.